Hello. Welcome to your Wednesday. It's midweek. Wednesday of this uh, fourth week of Lent. <clears throat> May the shalom, the great peace, flowing from the heart of God, bring healing, restoration, strength, and the divine life into your hearts this day, in Jesus' name. Amen. So we are continuing with the letters of St. Ignatius of Loyola, and today we're going to begin a whole new letter. Hmm? This is a letter Ignatius wrote to Father Manuel Godino. And today we'll just give an, an introduction. And then I think next time we'll probably just read the whole letter. It's a short one again. And then over the next few days, we'll start to take extracts and explore it together. Hmm? So first, just a general introduction to Father Manuel Godino. Hmm? So after having been involved in the training of young Jesuits at San Fin, Manuel Godino was appointed treasurer of a college in Coimbra. Being somewhat rigid and austere in his personal life, he found his new position unnerving since he was now immersed in temporal and financial matters. He felt these occupations nullified any good he might accomplish through his priestly ministry and concluded that these occupations were an obstacle to his growth in perfection. With this in mind, he wrote to Ignatius in a letter no longer extant. Now Ignatius responds by encouraging him and explaining that even the most secular occupations, when done with a pure intention, is as agreeable to God as is prayer. In fact, even more agreeable when done under obedience. In 1552, Godino gave up his position as treasurer to take on a more burdensome task as rector of the college. So we'll hear, you know, uh, next time, you know, the contents of this uh, response of Ignatius to Father Manuel Godino concerning all these external occupations and how that relates to the life in the spirit and finding God. So let's say a little prayer. Good and gracious Father, you know, a lot of us are preoccupied with so many things, huh? if not with our family, with our work, worrying about our future, worrying about relationships, worrying about, you know, broken relationships, unforgiveness, anger, all kinds of things, Lord. We pray that through this exploration of the letters of Ignatius, as we hear of his counsel, we may grow in that grace of being able to find you in all things, even in the busyness of our lives, even in things that seem seemingly distracting and overwhelming. Help us to find that purity of intention that will enable us to seek and find you in all things. Saint Ignatius of Loyola, pray for us. Saint Joseph, pray for us. We'll see you next time. <laughs>